Hey guys, how's it going? Floodmon 14 here, and we're back with another episode of. Uh, let's look at the camera. I think it looks good. Yeah, alright. Yeah, we're back with another episode of Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. In the last episode, we. Uh, we had a duel with two new duelists, um, Ch -ch -ch Mako Tsunami and Shizuka. Uh, I mean, sorry, Serenity, uh, who you can see on the left, Joey's sister. Uh, in this episode, this is actually continuing from uh, the last part, and uh, in which Joey and I were having kind of an epic duel. Uh, just to recap, in case this is, it's my turn currently, all that happened in between episodes is that... Joey set this monster, set another face down, which I don't know what it is. Could be like Kunai with Chain or something. He hasn't played that yet. And, um, kind of left this monster in defense mode. Uh, just a quick recap on the duel. Uh, the life point total is I have 6,500, 3450. This is just in case, like, anyone's, like, skipping between episodes and, like, oh, what's going on? You're in the middle of the duel. Uh, just to kind of a look at Joey's graveyard, some of the cards he's played. Pot of Greed, Graceful Dice, two, count them, two Time Wizards. And he got that effect right multiple times. Time Roulette, go! And um, also Dangerous Machine and Needle Wall, both of which helped him multiple times. It is now my turn. We have Crawling Dragon equipped with Sword of Hatred. And um, he has Metal Morph equipped on Little Wingar, but luckily for us... We have Spellbinding Circle equipped to that. So that is basically an update last time on Yu-Gi-Oh, if you will. It's our turn. We drew and we got Beaver Warrior. Not not bad, honestly. Um, I think I'll go ahead and play Beaver Warrior because his little wing guard can't attack. So, yeah, Beaver Warrior in attack mode. All right. And like I said, uh, he has not played Kunai with Chain yet, which, honestly, <laughs> um, kind of makes me want to attack with Beaver Warrior first, because I know for sure it can kill Versago, so Skull Dice! I have to beat my Skull Dice! Ha 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 ha! And a six, of course, Joey, being the expert duelist he is, gets the maximum roll on Skull Dice, and... Activated time wizard time you let go. I think he activated it like two times successfully last duel. So that whole uh you know oh wait, what's my attack at actually? It is sorry doing some math here. Oh still enough to get Versago, I think. Yeah. Still enough to get Versago. So we'll attack Versago. But um yeah, uh that whole yeah, when we were in the first couple episodes, and you remember how Time Roulette was failing? Not happening at the end of last episode, or this episode. Um, his luck is not failing. So, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna... We might be in here for some trouble, man. Like, seriously. Little wing guy. I don't think he would... Yeah, okay. I was getting ready to say, I don't think he would use its effect at this state of the game. So let's draw. Uh, yeah, in between episodes, I transferred my file to... Once again, to my computer. I'm hoping that... You know, it does not... Uh, Swords of Revealing Light really clutch, considering how tough this duel has been. So let's play. Let's... You know what? I, I want to see what you got going on, Joey. Baby Dragon and Battle Warrior push all, but um, yeah, uh, this duel has been a tough one. Um, and yeah, like I said about the video file, I'm hoping that um that the transfer is successful. Of course, definitely, definitely hoping there are no hexaroni going on with the file transfer because that would suck. That would really Considering how epic this duel was, that would really suck. Alright, Beaver Warrior. You're no match for my Beaver Warrior. Skull Dice in stereo. <laughs> Let me guess, another six, Joey? Another six? Maximum sixmum? Nope. Oh, Joey, your luck's starting to fade, bro. You only got a one. Beaver Warrior, go. 
ramming charge attack. I don't know. What what epic attack would be Beaver Warrior use? I don't know. Uh, we came up with an epic attack for Whiptail Crow last episode. Yeah. What was it? Dark Absalon or something like that. Dark something. It was, it was cool. I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, you would. You would have blind destroy. Oh my god, after all this. Actually, you know what? If he if you roll a four here, I wouldn't be too mad. You know why, Joey? You would destroy your own little wing guard, which is OP right now. Five. That does nothing right now. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't mind if you rolled a four, bro. I wouldn't mind one bit. Because you can't attack anyway. Swords of Revealing Light. Ha! Clutch. That was definitely like, like though, <laughs> considering all the trouble he gave us last duel, like Swords of Revealing Light, that is so clutch. Because even if something goes wrong, ooh, Skull Dice, yes. Okay, I'm actually not gonna play Kazajin because, um, yeah, uh, Crawling Dragon with Skull Dice can take down Little Wingard finally. So I'm gonna try to wait. And like I said, if he rolls a four, so be it. It'll destroy his monster. See, blind destruction, I don't get me wrong, it is bad. It it's so bad. But um I don't think it's as bad as Needle Wall because number one, you can actually avoid blind destruction, which maybe that's what I should do here. You know what? That is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna go to main phase two, and I'm gonna show you how to avoid blind destruction. Step one, set. That's right, and I'll sacrifice both these monsters to set. Yeah, because Blind Destruction only destroys face-up monsters. So, yeah, Sword of Hatred will return to the top of my deck, which I'm fine with. Because that way we can avoid the BD, the bads, the Blind Destruction. Yeah, because uh, Blind Destruction only affects uh, cards that are face-up. And, um, yeah, so... Even if you roll a six here, which you would need to destroy my Kazajin. Four! <laughs> yes, destroy your own monster, Joey. Yes, his luck is finally running out. Oh, oh man, that was so clutch that I set Kazajin there. That, that might have just won us the game, folks. Oh my god. Can you get any more lucky? Like, I, like, I wasn't even thinking about, you know, setting Kazajin the first. But man, that that definitely saved us some agony. Let's let's say that. And I've already used. Uh, if you didn't watch last episode, I've already used Crimson Ninja. So no way to take out. No, I don't want to play anything in the damage dip. No way to take out the BD, the blind, the blind destruction, but we can't take out the other baby, baby, baby dragon, no, yeah, get crushed, Suijin attack, uh, what was it's, uh, attack, storming surge, storming surge attack, I think it was something like that, storming something, oh man, blind, don't be a six, Joey, no six, no six, no whammy, seven, two, that's fine, that's, no biggie. No, no whammy, no mammy. Man, his luck has finally ran dry. I'm definitely... I said I said in the last episode I was going to save between duels, but I'm definitely, like, for sure, I am saving after this. Win or lose. Because we had some new dialogue with Joey and um in the last episode, and I actually... What is his face down? I forgot. Oh, Skull Die. Right, right, right. But, like, I actually checked in between videos... Um, we could power up Kazajin, but honestly, two attacks will do it either way, so, yeah, I'm not going to power him up, um, because, uh, Sword of Dark Destruction, Sword of Hatred's kind of sealing our draw, uh, but yeah, uh, what was I saying? Man, I'm doing a lot of talking, I need a drink. <clears throat> Sorry. Epic Duel Hangover from last episode, jeez. <sighs> Excuse me. But, um, anyway, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, at the... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Six. Oh, Joey. <laughs> no. If you don't know, six on blind destruction means 
epic animation, alligator sword. Yeah, six means he destroys, that card destroys all level six and higher monsters. Uh, what can I activate? I forgot. Uh, skull dice? Nah, we'll save it. Man, dude. Oh, we were so close, Joey. You only have 1,050 life points left, Holmes. God. Well, man, what can I say? Joey Wheeler. This is turn 22, man. This is like epic. This is, gosh, can't phase this guy. Mooka, 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 Mooka. Man, I do have Sword of Dark Destruction. Uh, but Mooka Mooka really doesn't help here. I guess I'll just end my turn. Gosh, Joey. You know what? I hope you get a four on Blind Destruction again. I hope you get a four, bro. Honestly. Four. Four for the loss, so to speak. Six. Okay. So if I had used, like, Monster Reborn or something crazy on Kazdian, it would have just left the field again. This is not good. Joey's getting over these past two turns. That's what three thousand damage on me. So not good. Not good. We we may be out of options here. I need to draw like okay. Set another monster, and he has a set card. You know what? I want to see what your set monster is. So we're gonna play Shadow of Eyes, right? Oh crap! That was Skull Die. Whoops. That's my bad, guys. Uh, well, only a two. Not sure that would have helped anyway. Whoops. I meant to play. <laughs> wow. Misplays for the loss. Yeah, I meant to play. Uh, ooh. Eternal Rest. Yeah, I meant to play Shadow of Eyes there. So. Eternal Rest. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Crazy move, but we're gonna play Mooka Mooka in attack mode. And we're gonna attack his face down card. Hopefully I kill it. Time Wizard, wow. Trifecta of Time Wizard in this duel, Joey. Oh my God, dude. <sighs> wow. That's crazy. Man, if I had used a... Uh... Shadow of Eyes probably could have won the duel there. That's that's my bad, guys. Um, well, we have no real choice here. Had to play Sword of Dark Destruction on his Alligator Sword, then go for the Eternal Rest on it. Got to get rid of it. Eternal Rest. Let's do it. Oh man. Yeah, I kind of messed up using Skull Dice. Well, I definitely messed up using Skull Dice there. Oh, Joey. Man. Alright. Man, this duel is coming down to the wire. Mainly because I screwed up. But, uh... Well... Hmm. Mukumoku's only got 600, so even if this is a 2, that's... Really... Yeah. 5? Okay. Well, I might save myself some damage. Oh, he just set a card face down. Dude, could this be it? Could we win this duel in epic fashion? Top deck. Of course, Sword of Hatred returning to the top of the deck. Dude, this is like 1100. Could this be it? Could this, like, epic duel? I mean, I love this game and all. But man, this duel has been scary. Could this duel finally be over? Yes! The attack's going to, yes! Oh, take that, Joey. <sighs> Man. Oh my god, that duel was so epic. But we did it, guys. We believed in the heart of the cards. And we came out on top. Versus Joey. 66 experience. Give me that experience. Oh, thank god we won. Destroy in battle bonus, 18. So we got a new bonus there. Uh, wow. Whew. Destroy in battle. I think that bonus comes up only if you destroy, like, more than about, like, seven or so monsters in battle. 
man, you're tough. You're definitely going to go far in this tournament. Yeah, thanks, Joey. Whew. All right. So we definitely want to save, 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 save after all of that madness. Thank God and we didn't run into a shadow game on the way home. Okay. Whew. Yeah, yeah. Definitely enter home. Home is where the heart is. Oh, my God. That was such an epic duel. That was one for the ages. But you see, guys, what I mean? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Yui is hard in, you know, in some respects. But, like, he didn't give me... I mean, I guess in fairness, we haven't dueled, you know, Yami Yui yet. But, like, yeah. Compared to, you know, I will stop going out because of slow... Oh, okay. So... We're out of time for the day, so we're going to sleep until morning. And um, that's actually kind of ironic because at the time I'm recording this, it's still, this is all one session, so still the same day. Um, in between episodes, I kind of got some rest, and uh, I actually figured out why the file transfer was going slow because, <laughs> because I was watching like a YouTube video and... <laughs> While the file was transferring, which was obviously slowing down the process because my computer is, you know, using memory or processor speed or whatever to run the YouTube video. So that was, yeah, this time the uh, file transfer went uh, quite a bit smoother. So double saving just because, I don't know. But, um,. Let's check the computer. I don't think there's any new mail, but we did get that episode. Oh, wait, I guess there is. Uh, search function. Special bulletin from Kaiba Corp. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we got this message last episode. Yeah, caution at night, yada, yada. Okay, so, so that's it for mail. Okay. Welcome, Flood. All right. So, now we're back. Yeah, like I was saying about morning, uh, irony. Um, yeah, it's actually almost morning here. It is currently 7 a.m. So, yeah. Anyway, we're back to the morning. Back to the easy, easier dual opponents. So, thank God, because... Whew, I don't know about you guys, but I need a break after that Joey duel. Yeah, I need to duel someone easy, like Mokuba. Ha ha ha, welcome one-on-one, -on -one, me and you. Come on, Mokuba. All right, and I think this might be, oh yeah, because I remember uh, that happening too, like in one of my episodes, like there was huge amounts of glare because of, oh, we'll go first, because of the sunlight early in the morning, so this will probably be the last episode of this session, so, and I wanted to record like five or so like I did last time but uh, three is okay and uh, yeah one of these duels one of these episodes was like 50 minutes like I think that was last episode and it cut off you know kinda at the end there luckily luckily like you know cuz normally I just get kinda absorbed into the commentary and the duels and stuff um, and what's happening on screen and that's good but luckily like in that episode, I noticed that the timer was at like 40, like 7 minutes or something crazy like that. I was like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to pay attention to the uh, video timer, you know, the, the more turns go on in this duel. So, and once again, we get our spirit cards, folks. This is the spirit cards of Flood in, in this game. Sword of Dark Destruction, Whiptail Crow, once again, uh... <laughs> Oh, here. So, we'll go with Crass Clown. Standard move. I really like Crass Clown. Uh, he's working out pretty well in the deck. Uh, yeah, can return something to the hand. So, see ya. And we will go with... Let's go with the spirit cards. I mean, you're gonna... You're gonna give them to me? You're gonna let me draw them? We'll just... We'll play them. We'll play, I'll play this combo every time. If the... <laughs> If the RNG gives me this combo every time. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and um, I still haven't edited my deck, by the way, because, yeah, the recording cut off, you know, in between episodes, in like right in the middle, so I couldn't add, like, uh, 
What do we get that's good? I think we got another crow card last episode, and we got Graceful Charity, that's right, which is a really good card. Definitely need to add that to the deck, but I will do that in between. Um, okay, looks like Mokubo's not doing much, so we're going to do a middle, a bit of a transition. Uh, a couple episodes ago, I said that, you know, especially in these early morning duels, it would be, aw, oh, back to square one, come on, bro. That's, that's a good move, though. Uh, no, Crow! But, uh, yeah, I said it would be a good, oh, two, are you kidding me? Double back to square one, jeez. Well, at least he got rid of all of his monsters. But man, <laughs> oh, Crass Clown back. All right, well, fine, Mokuba, fine. You know what? I'm actually gonna set Crass Clown and send one of your monsters back next turn. See how you like it. Um, but yeah, like I said, bit of a transition here. I said I would go over the card list of the cards in the game and Mokuba's out of monsters I think he discarded two with back to square one so that was kinda I mean you could have just used penguin soldier on me bro that would have been just as devastating so I guess we'll do crash clown uh, man I'm jumping all over the place in topics here but that's okay that's what you're supposed to do in an LP right you're supposed to keep talking just keep going so um but yeah back to what I was saying let's try this again I said I would try to go over the card lists and some of these more, you know, easier duels like Mokuba, Teya, uh, Serenity now. Um, so, I actually took the liberty of writing down the card lists in between episodes. Griffor! That's cool. Uh, what? Summon... Uh, nah. We don't need to do that. I don't think. Yeah, because what do we have? Crass Clown? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I took the liberty of writing down the card list. So, the first one you can get, and I'll just start with this one because it's first, is Miracle of Nature. Uh, I'm just going to read off these cards. Um, if it's a good card, I'll kind of go over it at the end. Uh, our turn again. I think this is over basically because we can switch Crash Clown, return his Griffor, haha, -ha. and 3750. So I got Crow, which is 1650, so that's 11. That's game. Uh, there we go. So, cardless, yeah. Miracle of Nature, I'm just going to start reading off some of these cards. Basic Insect, Beaver Warrior, which is, it's, it's alright. The Curry Box, Big Eye, Big Insect, um, Blade Fly, Blue Medicine, Brachio Radis, yeah, Cocoon of Evolution, Crass Clown, Crimson Sunbird, um... So that takes us to the C's in the first pack, Miracle of Nature. And that's the one with, like, the big, great moth on it. Uh, so we beat Mokuba. And probably no new bonuses, but we'll just do that. I don't think there's any need to save in between for these morning duels. Uh, by the way, I just realized my mouse has been, like, on screen the whole time. Whoops. <laughs> That's no need for that. Uh, let's see if we can get into another duel here. And I will continue with reading the pack list. Yugi! Well, this might be somewhat entertaining. This is the deck the Pharaoh and I built together. I believe that my cards will guide me to victory. It's time to duel. Okay. As long as you're not, like, pulling out Dark Magician. Magic Darkness. Cool. Uh, we'll go with Paper. So yeah, this duel, I might have to stop reading the pack list and uh, actually pay attention at some point. But where was I? I think the C's, right? Yeah, Crimson Sunbird, I think was the last one I left off with. Dragon Piper, Dragon Zombie, Dream Clown, Forest. Oh, and it's his turn. Good, I can keep reading. Gokibor, 
great moth, great white. So that takes us to the G's. Uh, and like I said, I'm just reading this pack list off in case, like, um, you know, in the beginning of the game, you don't have the full... I know that there's a cardless feature on this game, and at, at some point I will show it. Um, let me pay attention here. He's got Winged Dragon out, Guardian of the Fortress, so Great White can beat it. Uh, he has a face down, but mm, I'm not too worried about that. So we'll just uh, attack. That okay, Yugi? No, it's not okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. Spellbinding Circle. Well, I use that in my deck too, so. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. He might sacrifice that next turn for something. Uh, anyway, where were we in the card list? I think we were at the H's. Uh, yeah, well, I called that. I'm gonna have to start paying attention. Sacrifice for Curse of Dragon in HD. Wow, that's going to hurt. And Curse of Dragon uses, uh, what attack does it use? Uh, Sky Scourge, I don't know. Wait, no, it actually has an attack name, doesn't it? Um, oh yeah, it j well, no. I just remember it blowing like fire everywhere. Well, that was a good use of Spellbinding Circle. Got to give you that one, Yuki. Uh, I do have something that can stop Curse of Dragon here, and that is Prevent Rat. Did I say Pre- I said that weird. I said, like, Prevent Rat instead of Prevent Rat. Alright, so, unless Yugi, like, uses some kind of equipped spell card to boost Curse of Dragon, I should be okay this turn, and really okay in the long run, because I have, uh, why would you attack with Beaver Warrior first? I don't know, but, uh, okay, good move, Yugi. Uh, where were we? I think the H's? Yeah, for Miracle of Nature. H's. Uh, Hercules Beetle, Tatsumi Giant, Hoshininian, Judge Man, Just Desserts. Now, that's a good card. Uh, let's see, my turn. I'm gonna have to pay attention here. So, let's tribute for Flame... Cerebrus. There we go. Fluffy! That thing totally looks like Fluffy from uh, Harry Potter. Shout out to anyone who's uh, watched any of the Harry Potter movies. I believe this one was what? Chamber of Secrets? Is that Fluffy? It sounds like Chamber of Secrets. I'm pretty sure it's Chamber of Secrets. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Anyway, tech is... Uh, Curse of Dragon, Burning Execution Attack. So that's cool. Uh, where were we? I think, oh yeah, Just Desserts, okay. Other cards you can get, Killer Needle. Yeah, Yugi's going defensive here. Good, good. Oh, bro, you don't have to do that. Hikari no Fugetis. Man, that's a good card. Swords of Revealing Lights. Uh, now, I know I have Crimson Ninja in hand, but I forget, did I get Armed Ninja as well? Oh, I did. I got both ninjas. Haha. <laughs> well, that's good. That's very good. Alright, so I'll set that, and I'll set that. Alright, Yugi, your swords ain't gonna last long, bro. Because I've got the power of the Stealth Sonobi Slash. Now, where did I leave off? I think the K's? Yeah, Killer Needle, Larva Moth, Little Chimera, Machine... What does that say? Oh, Conversion. Okay, Machine Conversion Factory. Dude, he's placing, like, everything in attack mode for some strange reason. Mammoth Graveyard, Man Eater Bug, Mega Zaller, Muyan Curie. So we're up to the O's. And I gotta pay attention here because I'm using Arm Ninja. Alright. Gotcha, Yugi. Arm Ninja. Stealth Strike Slash. Take out his swords of revealing light. Ah. You know, I can't blame him, really, for putting everything in attack mode, considering he had swords out. I mean, I probably would have done the same thing, honestly, thinking, ah, you know, there's no way he's going to destroy my swords of revealing light. Alas, you were wrong. Alright, so this turn... You know what, let's try to get Kazajin out. 
Let's... No, no, no. Let's not try to get Kazuya now. Because uh, we can take out two of his monsters. And I don't want him to, to leave him with two monsters. Because, yeah, all of his two sacrifices are bad news. So you need to take out Wing Dragon. Got to pay attention here. And yeah, my Beaver Warriors got to take out Samian. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, any of his two sacrifices are bad news. Um, Dark Magician, Guy of the Fierce Knight. Uh, they're, that's that's all. I'm sure he has other. Doesn't he have another two sacrifice monster? Oh yeah, Magician of Black Chaos. Well, that's a ritual, but hey, I mean you could basically use two of these. So yeah, those are all bad news. All bad news. So destroy Sangen. Yeah. What are you gonna get, Yugi? Probably Karibo, or maybe not. Uh, Celtic Guardian. Well, it's kind of smart. Because I have Beaver Warrior just sitting there in attack mode. Do I have a trap? I do not. So, unfortunately, Beaver Warrior, you're going to die. But that's okay, because I planned it that way. But we are we down to the O's? Yeah. Okay, so this is still from Real Miracle of Nature. Yugi's not. Genju Gatana. Good card. Oh, I'm sorry. Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Um... The O's, Auxilio Hero, number two, Pendulum Machine, the original Pendulum Monster, Pugum, that is Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, Petite Moth, Pot of Greed, which we already have, Power of Kaishin, and we're down to the R's. Alright, I think I'm liking the idea of this whole, uh, ooh, Spellbinding Circle, that's good. I'm liking the idea of this whole, uh, you know, pack list thing, because, uh, yeah, like I said in the last episode, knowledge is power, so, I'm sure some of you really will appreciate it, and that way you can kind of, um, you know, get a feel for what cards are available at this stage in the game, you know, pretty early in the game, um, if you're looking to add a few good, uh, spell cards or, uh, trap cards, so, uh, and it is still transitioning in the morning. We're at 7.15. Uh, but I don't see too much glare, so that's good. We're not too far into the morning. I do have to say, it's a lot different recording in wintertime versus uh, uh, summer. It's uh, The difference is, it, it's quite obvious, but I think it's actually... Uh, what's that, Crash Clown? Yeah, I don't need to do anything about that. But yeah, the difference is quite uh, quite stark. I think recording here in winter is a lot easier, really, in general. Just because, like, I'm wearing a bit of a hoodie right now. And it's a lot easier to, you know, warm up than it is. Uh, he set a monster. You know what? I'm actually not going to play Shadow of Eyes because I'm just going to have Crash Clown return that anyway, so... Doesn't matter, would be a waste of Shadow of Eyes, so. There we go, Suijin, wow, cool. We got two of the uh, trio in our hand. So first things first, switch Crass Clown. And I think I'll attack first, main phase to go to um, Suijin. Sounds like a good call. So, Flame Cerebrus, attack. Burning Execution. Or maybe I'll... You know what? Maybe I'll set... Um... A monster. Because Flame Cerebrus... Oh yeah. Flame Cerebrus is actually pretty good. Fluffy... Fluffy's... Pretty good. I don't want to really sacrifice him. And I still have, uh... Douche Nozzle McDouche Stick. Face down. Uh, uh, hexagrams curse. Spellbinding circle. There we go. Uh, by the way, sorry if I use, like, some of the... Because I have another monster I can sacrifice, right? Yeah, Crimson Ninja. You go face down. Um, but yeah. Sometimes I use the, as you've noticed, I'm sure, Japanese name for cards. I don't know why. I watch both versions of the show, so... Celtic Guardian in HD. Go, my Celtic Guardian! 
All right. You are attacking my crash clown, eh? Well, big mistake, because I have... Let me check the details. Okay. Had to make... This is so weird playing with, uh, you know, to where I can't see the bottom of the screen, but I think it'll, it's going to work out here in the end. There we go. Trapped your Celtic Guardian, Yugi. Now what you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to do when Whiptail Crow come? When Whiptail Crow comes for you? Copyright infringement. Crimson Ninja. So we're using both ninjas effects. All right, go. Bloodlust slash. Oh, monster recovery card. How? Hmm, interesting. I will summon this, and I will sacrifice. This is on Crimson Ninja, right? No, I don't want to sacrifice Fluffy. I will sacrifice Crass Clown. <laughs> The hilarious Crass Clown. <laughs> Alright. And I know that Monster Recovery is a complete bluff, so... I'm just gonna attack with Suiji and Yugi. How you like that? Title Surge Attack. Alright, now where was I? I think I was at the R's. Did I read Pot of Greed? I think I did. Pot of Greed, Power of Kaishin, Raise Body Heat, Reaper of the Cards... Reverse Trap, Rock Ogre Grotto number one uh, in Miracle Nature, and this will end the duel. Cool. Uh, Scale Angel, who we got? Skull Servant, Shield and Sword, Silver Bow and Arrow, Star Boy, Sword of Dark Destruction, which we also have, Sword Stalker, Wicked Worm Beast, Trap Master. Wasteland and Zombie Warrior to finish out the sets. Now, um, of those cards, uh, 74 for Duel and Yugi. That's pretty good. As far as dual experience points and dual points. So. I was so close. I won't lose next time. Really, Yugi. I think I'm undefeated versus you. I'm pretty sure you've lost every time. Dude, like, why am I talking so cocky? Like, because, <laughs> like, just at the start of this episode, Joey had me at my heels, man. So I don't know why I'm... I don't know. Uh, what time are we at? 37 minutes? Yeah, we could probably get another duel in, considering these are early morning. Uh, Shizuka. Maybe we won't get another one in. It's such a nice day to duel outside. What does Joey always say? Oh, yeah. It's time to duel. All right. So, Serenity... Yes, yeah, she does like to stall, so I don't know if I'll get everything in this episode. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to buy packs too. Crap. Maybe I shouldn't have dueled her. Eh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe there will be time for packs, I don't know. Um, but of all the cards I just went over for Miracle of Nature, uh, I'm going to give you guys you know, my thoughts as far as which cards are... The best. Uh, I'll just set prevent right. Um, yeah, I really don't like summoning monsters in attack mode on the first turn. There's no real reason um, because like you can't attack anyway. So yeah, might as well set up a good defense. You know, just in case things go sour or yeah. just my thoughts on that. But sometimes you may not really. Double rain of mercy. It's rain and life points. Hallelujah. It's rain and life points. I need some water. Water does stuff to me. Ooh, course of sanctuary. Thanks. That'll make my monster have 2,700 defense. I meant 2,500. There we go. Alright, what do you got? Amazon Archer. Kind of a good card, honestly. Alright, yes, attack me, attack me, you fool, after boosting my defense. That move completely makes sense. <laughs> like, really, uh, they probably should have had her, uh, program to play Cores of Sanctuary main phase 2, like, every time, um, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, what do we got here? We got Neo... I'm just gonna set up my turn here. 
before I go over those cards I recommend. Sword of Hatred. Clutch in the beginning of this episode versus Joey, for sure. Very clutch. Alright, Sword of Hatred on Neo, the Chosen One. Neo looks pretty cool. You know, I just gotta I just gotta throw that out there. Look at that with the cape and everything, man. That that that's cool. It's cool to be cool. Alright, cards I recommend. Um, from this set. Big Eye is actually pretty good. You know, letting you rearrange what cards you draw next, that's that can prove to be pretty clutch. Because you know, if you're in a pinch or something, you can always move Dark Hole or something really good to the top of your deck. Uh, Pot of Greed, I mean, let's draw two cards. Just awesome that you can use in this game. Uh, Just Desserts, really good burn card. Uh, it does 500 for each monster your opponent has, so I'd really recommend that one as well. Uh, we'll go with Crawling Dragon. Uh, oh, I probably should have set Arm Ninja, actually, because she has Course of Sanctuary out. You know, even though she does, I'm going to try to attack Crawling Dragon anyway. Mmm, I think that's enough, right? Yeah, it's enough. Good. I gambled in a one. Although, huh, that's interesting. That card would have actually lowered Neo's attack power. I still don't think she could have killed it, though. Because, yeah, because I... Good thing I put Sword of Dark Destruction on it. Um, but yeah, Just Desserts, really good burn card. Reverse Trap... Um, I took it out of my deck, but it's actually pretty good, because, like, as you saw from last, you know, the start of this episode, Joey, like, uses Metal Morph on, you know, his monsters, and, uh, also uses Kunai with Chain, and, um, other players use Equip cards, too, like, last episode, you saw Mako, you know, <laughs> he almost pulled a Bakura and triple stacked his, um, what did he have out, like, Great White or something like that? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna pay attention here. I think I'll set armed. No, I'll go with Baron. Chances are good we can probably do some damage here. And you know what? I'm gonna play smart and play swords. Uh, that way I can see what I'm attacking into. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh man, so the battle phase is <laughs> gonna be over. Ah, well played, well played. Like I said, I'm not surprised she stalled out. We'll just attack with, uh... Eh, Baron can kill this thing. Fiend Saber Slash! But, uh... Yeah, uh... Quite a few people use Equip cards, so Reverse Trap will definitely help, you know, reverse that situation. Uh, Cocoon of Evolution. Pretty good. Now, I wouldn't recommend summoning... Or trying to summon Great Moth. Just because... Eh, we'll set Time Machine, because why not? But, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using it for that. But, by itself, it's a 2,000-point defender, so that's... Honestly, that's pretty good. Um, especially in the early going here. So, Dragon Zombie is pretty good as well. It's got 1,600 attack. It can, it can help you get through annoying stuff like Gravity Bind. So, uh, Dream Clown. Now, I got, I've got Crass Clown in my deck, but... Oh, nice. Got a Sewage in here, so... Probably gonna play uh, Arm Ninja. Maybe sacrifice for that next turn. Um, but yeah, I've decided to go with Crash Clown in my deck. But um, honestly, Dream Clown's good too. Um, it works much like Crash Clown. Oh god, another one. But instead of returning, being defense to attack, it's attack to defense. It's basically the the counterpart, the opposite, and instead of returning it to the hand, it actually destroys the monster. So that's that's pretty cool. That's good. Well, doesn't look like we're going to be buying any packs this episode because uh, Serenity is really stalling out. And if we don't make it to the end of this episode, eh, I'm not going to continue in the next one. I mean, we've we've got five monsters on the field. Basically, this duel's done. Uh, other cards I would recommend, yeah, Scale Angel. It's a flip monster, but it lets you draw a card, so that's good. And of course, Shield and Sword. Pretty good at reversing the situation as well. Um, well, she didn't play a monster, so I'm actually going to use Arm Ninja to look at her face down. Might be a good call. 
So, Serenity, what are you hiding from me, my dear? Let's see what you've got here. Still Seeker. Ah, Numinous Healer, eh? Hmm. Not much I can do to stop that, but I will. Sacrifice Arm Shinobi and Prevent Rat for one of the best cards in our deck, Suijin. Uh, other cards I would recommend... Um, Great White. Uh, pretty good. 1600 attack. Sword of Dark Destruction uh, is in our deck. And uh, really, I would recommend cards like that. You know, that um, even if it is a slight boost by only like eh, 300 or whatever, um, tends to help out quite a bit in these duels, really. Um, even if it is something like dark energy which I use in my deck and it's only 300 still I don't know what it is man but it seems to help out quite a bit because yeah the opponents also use a lot of uh, equipped cards to boost their monsters even if it is by 300 so you're almost matching with them uh, card for card in that regard um, that kind of rhymed um, of course, I would actually recommend cards that... I, well, let me correct my last statement. I would recommend those cards for now. Like, uh, you know, while it's at this stage of the game. Later in the game, those cards will become very obsolete. But for now, yeah, cards like Power of Kaishin, uh, even the field cards, Wasteland, Forest, whichever one helps you, I'd recommend it for now. Uh, the other, the only other card I would recommend in here would be Judgment. Um, and I would, well, that's not the only other card I would recommend. I would also recommend, like, cards like Little Chimera. Like, it'll boost fire monsters by 500 and reduce water by 400. Basically, I would recommend the one that helps your deck the most. I couldn't win this time, but I'm not giving up. Okay, and that takes us to basically my end of the first pack list and to 47 minutes in this video. So that's, I think that's a pretty good time to end it. But I'm going to try to buy some more cards because cards are as good. Um, hopefully the video doesn't run out of time. That way I can edit my deck in between videos. Uh, considering I can't see the bottom screen which would make things easier for me and then I'll just kind of I'll just update you guys on the deck at the start of next episode so we have 1852 as far as points so that's good let's buy some more of the mechanical trap power real quick see what we get good way to end the video I think buy some packs done quite a few doing seven completed that's not bad castle walls oh yeah I probably should have saved before I bought packs oh well ooh metal morph just kidding I shouldn't have saved before I bought packs because I'm gonna save regardless now yeah metal morph really good card uh, boost attack by 300 and defense by 300 but also when the equipped monster is attacking it gains half of that monsters attack to Equip monster, so that's really good. Joey uses it, and uh, yeah, it's a good card. Hain Hain, another one. That's we seem to get that one quite a bit. I don't think we got any new cards in that one, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're at 57%, so we'll buy one more. Eh, why not? Let's see. Gyoton Tago Megami, Dark Elf, Sword of Thunder Dragon. That's good. That's good. It's it's even better when you have three of them in your deck, but yeah, I'll, I'll take that um, for sure. I like Thunder Dragon. Okay. We'll buy, we'll buy one more. We'll buy one more. This is going good. The luck's pretty good on this, so let's see what we got. Another Whiptail Krell. I'll be adding that to my deck. Fortress Will Oath. <gasps> yes! Red Eyes. Black Dragon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A Ferocious Dragon with a deadly attack awesome and we got an ultra rare guys so that is a great point to end this video I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna save 